Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Vincent's Dirty Planet. Why are we taking you around the world looking at the seedy, sordid, and the damn right dirty? Not that there's anything wrong. Right. Welcome back to Vincent's Dirty Planet. <laughs> you find me today in Monterey, California. Monterey is situated two hours south really? of San Francisco, <laughs> where you will find, among other things, a lot of puffs, <laughs> lots of rubber, a lot of bondage. They have several clubs, one called the Dairy Club, which I have been to recently and you will show you for video later. This involves a lot of dairy and a lot of nudity. And the trouble is, I didn't have a hotel room, slept in a car, smelled a cheese for a week. Now I'm in Monterey, California, where I'm on the hunt for a man who actually has sex with great white sharks. His name is Reed Hot. <laughs> Reed Hot. <laughs> when was the first time you were fascinated having sex with great white sharks? <laughs> Don't be shy, Paul. Sorry. <coughs> Welcome back to Vincent's Dirty Planet. Today I'm interviewing another member of the Monterey community. My friend and everybody's greatest friend, Miss Jen Gurren. <laughs> <laughs> he refuses to be interviewed. Here we go, here we go. Now, Jen has a sexual obsession with M&M's. <laughs> M&M's, Jen. Million dollars, nothing. Pack of M&M's, woof. What now, how long have you had this obsession for, Miss Griffin? With tiny little balls? Yeah. Well, considering One. my options are few and far between, <laughs> I'm going to take what I can get. God, God. Welcome back. To Vincent's Dirty Planet. Go, Today man. I am concluding my trip to Monterey with an interview with the <coughs> Mayor of Alvarado Street. <coughs> now I hear you have this problem with Ecuadorian sex smugglers stinging your sea otters for sexual purposes. How do you comment on this? <laughs> <laughs> That's an Ecuadorian sea otter. There's no official problem as recognized by about Ecuadorian sex trade in the Monterey Peninsula. And I'd like to say that the kickback I got just last year from the Ecuadorian government has nothing to do with that. But is it true that they actually paint them pink and say they're Mexican ferrets to get them through the border? Is that what that was? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> A story about the sex trade with sea otters in the Monterey Peninsula. I'm interviewing Mr. Michael Richardson, a well known authority on Mexican ferrets. Michael, now, how was it possible for the American government to let pink sea otters be taken through the border? What the hell does that have to do with ferrets, man? They said they were ferrets. Have you ever seen a pink I know ferrets. ferrets. That was not a ferret. See, uh, how does your government? Not come to you as an authority, may I say, authority on sex trade of Mexican ferrets. What exactly do you do with Mexican ferrets? They bite. Like? they bite. They bite. They bite. I see your point. Yeah, they bite. How much are they per pound? How much you got in your pocket? Forty-four dollars. It's forty-four dollars. Perfect. Then here she is. <laughs> have you got any about any teeth? I've got teeth, yeah. No, have you got any ferrets about any teeth? <laughs> No, but I got to eat. Oh. I have them. It is your dirty planet. It is my dirty planet. Oh. <laughs> Forty-four dollars, you said. <laughs> Come here, my pretty. Forty-four dollars. Forty-four dollars. This is my finest specimen. No problems. Fangs and all. <laughs> Come on, baby. You know you're not getting this back. This is Vincent Scully and Vincent's Dirty Planet, <laughs> concluding from Monterey. With my latest acquisition, a Mexican ferret. Hello viewers, this is Vincent Scully and his Dirty Planet. I'm now stood in the river called Big Sur in from the same area in California. I'm now in search of an incredible, amazing creature. It's all you gentlemen out there should find. It's, it's a fish called a loach. But in California, for some reason, it's become a hybrid. The loach has bred with the trout, which makes it five times the size. And as everybody knows about their fish, the loach doesn't have any teeth. And the local Native Americans, a thousand years ago, in this river, found if they took out their penis and laid on a rock, the loach would come and give them a blowjob. It's 
so it's officially known as the BJ Loach. I will find, if you leave me for a while, I will find you one and I will demonstrate. Vincent Scully, Dirty Panics, I'll see you soon. That's it. Look at Dodgy. Yes. That's a hard life. That's a hard, hard life. Musical, so shooting musical, should I? I think no idea. Going nowhere, baby. That's where it's at. Du -du 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 -du. And you're at the axe Yes, and there he is. Primitive Oxford man looking for his lunch. And he sees it. He sees his prey. Four and a half inches long. The mouth of Los Angeles horn. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Vince's Dirty Planet. I have made an amazing, amazing discovery here in California on the Big Sur River. In this wonderful, wonderful setting, I have found the only natural resource of condoms. I've only been sitting for four minutes and I have three American specimens. A very rare extra large lifestyle. Four minutes I've been in this river. And I'm so, so, oh, hold on, wait a minute, ladies and gentlemen, first time in the history of natural perversion, yes, I have caught a British Jurex. Now this is not native to this river, it is not a national condom, it is one that has been left by tourists and bred in these natural surroundings. So ladies and gentlemen, don't go to Walmart, don't go to a chemist, don't go to Walgreens. Get out, get sieving, get condoms. Thank you.